Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing another Dollar Tree DIY. I love this one so much. I have seen these on Pinterest for quite a while and I'm trying to redo some of my decor and it costs a lot of money when you wanna redo your decor because everything costs five, 10, 15, 20, 50 dollars and then you wanna buy the flowers and you wanna buy this and that and everything to like sit on a shelf. You buy a shelf and you buy all the stuff so I was trying to come up with something where I didn't have to pay 10 to $15. So I ended up paying $3 for this. I'm be making one of these little mini display chairs. I have seen these, like I said, on Pinterest for a while and I really wanted one. And I really don't even know where to find them. I know you can buy them on Etsy and things like that, but I was like, I can just make my own and I will figure it out and I will find a way. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I only had to use three boxes of these little tumbling tower Jenga blocks, whatever you like to call them, from the Dollar Tree and some hot glue and some paint. I am talking long in this intro, like always, but I do wanna say this was really hard to explain. I had laid, I pretty much looked at the picture on Pinterest and just tried to line these little Jenga blocks up and I just kinda did everything like piece by piece and then glued a little bit at a time to try to like form a chair. So this wasn't like really thought out. It was kind of like, okay, I can figure this out and make my own pattern. So I did do some slow, kind of slow or like longer clips just so you can see. So if you do want to recreate this, that's why. And some of it's fast because nobody wants to watch me hot glue every single Jenga piece. So let's begin. All right, so like I said, you're gonna need three of these little tower games, and then this is how I started. I just laid this out into a pattern. You're gonna use 87 of these blocks. I did mess up a few times when I was gluing, so I did redo a couple times. And then, so this is just the top of the chair, and then I'm just gonna begin on like the seat of the chair. I did three rows of 13, so if that helps at all. And like I said, I'm gonna do like a slower clip of what the whole pattern looks like. So if you do wanna pause it, save it, that is how I did it. I actually took a picture on my phone so I was able to recreate this and Presley was trying to help um, film this. So her little fingers got in the way a couple times. So yeah, so this is the bottom part. It's almost like the same as the top part except a little bit shorter. And then I did have to do four legs, so that's why you see the two sides on the outside. It's not looking like a chair because that is gonna be the backside legs of the chair. So like I said, this is my pattern. I took a picture of it so I was able to put everything together. I just use hot glue. You could definitely use E6000. This was a little tricky because not all these Jenga blocks are the exact same size and shape. So I did redo this a few times um, on putting some of these together because I started putting the legs on or I started putting the top on and it wasn't matching up. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out Wanna do this right There's a doubt in my mind So this part right here, I'm just taking my three rows of 13 and just gluing these together. So like I said, I did everything piece by piece to make this a lot easier. So I glued all the seat pieces together so I had my seat made and then I glued all the top part together and right here I had a lot of gapping so I had to take some wood glue and it was really dried up but it was still working out the way I wanted it to and I just filled in cracks. And then I took some craft sticks from the Dollar Tree, of course, and this is totally optional, but I wanted a little bit more security on the bottom. And then this is me just putting all of the top part of the chair together. And this I also had a little bit of trouble with because when I started putting these little pieces in right here, this little set of three, the pieces seemed to be a little too short, so I did have a tiny, tiny bit of gapping. 
And then now I'm just going to take the top part of my chair and glue it to the seat. See you guys, it's already looking like a chair. This part made me so excited knowing it was looking like a chair. These four pieces are the little feet. I did have to break some of the craft sticks because they were in my way and I didn't even think about that when I did that. So yeah, so here is my feet going on and then I just put a little bar of three between the feet and then I just did it to the other side as well. So this is what it looks like when it's completely finished. I thought this was so adorable. I love this a lot. I planned on staining it with this Waverly wax in the antique color and I just take a little bit of water and I mix it together. I loved this, but you could see every single flaw. <laughs> so I ended up actually painting it white, but this is what it looks like stained. So if you do choose to do that, that's totally up to you, but you could see every tiny little flaw and I just did not like that. So I chose my Waverly wax or my Waverly wax, my Waverly chalk paint in white, and I just repainted this. I did do two coats of this just to make sure. But this is what it looks like when it's finished. I love it. I love it so much and you can decorate this any way you want. I put this on my buffet table and it is right at home and I'm absolutely in love. You could see a little bit of flaw on the top part like I said where the pieces didn't attach to each other but you can just take a little jar or a pot or flowers and cover all your flaws. But that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.